All right, boys, let's get it. Shall we? Shall we get it, boys? Let me call him up real quick. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. It's been a while, man. It's been a long time, dude. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. I'm calling him on Discord. I miss Medi. Don't we all, man? I love him. Love this guy. Love this guy for real. <clears throat> Guys, he's not picking up. Guys, he's not, he's not picking up. Guys, he's not picking up. Guys, he's not answering the phone. Guys. Oh, God. <clears throat> Yo, what Yo, up, my dude? What's good, bro? What's good? Not too much. Good to be on here. What Let's up, chat? go. Season two. First one back. Super excited to have you, man. I've, you know, a long, long time. Everybody's been requesting you, dude. And uh, finally, you know, happy to finally have you on, dude. Sorry it took so long, man. No, hey, no worries. Look, my it, half of it's my fault, my schedule. And when I say schedule, I mean, like, I always come up with an excuse as to why to do it next week, do it next <laughs> no, week. Oh, we all, man. I'm sorry we didn't get to fucking, you know, hang out when you were out here, man. I apologize, bro. It's just hey, it's all good. Pop up, you know, but, um, dude, thank you so much for coming on. How's your day been? Uh, it's been good, you know, enjoying the PD drama on, uh, oh, on Brian. God. So what's going on nowadays? Um, you know, like babying and people doing crazy stuff and then, molding sure. and then just for being sure. in character like as calm as possible and then for not sure. yeah <laughs> not molding as well I have, I have my fair case here and there i mean don't we all but you know i get it i, get I mean it. it comes with it listen it does we, it does it we, really does i feel like we play so much that we're bound to get upset at what is a video game oh, and if 100%. you're not molding as a gamer then you're not really a gamer yeah, you're, you're not probably really you know exactly dude <laughs> i mean i think like it goes to say without i mean all of us that, I mean, uh, the no pixel community, a lot of us have been here for years and years and years. And that's something that I do want to like touch on with you because I know you've been here for, all, I mean, longer than fucking me, dude. I mean, I think you go back to the Arma days, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but, even before no pixel Arma, believe yeah, it or not. Wow, that's crazy. But uh, I think we're also passionate about what we do, right? So when you have like, mm -hmm. we do this every single day and then you put the passion behind it and then it's like, you know, Every, a lot of a lot of things that people say are valid, you know, like a lot of people have these valid opinions, but sometimes, you know, we can all get a little crazy with it for sure. But yeah, uh, very true. Yeah, dude. Fuck, man. So, um, you know, on the podcast, we talk about a lot of things kind of mainly to get to know you a little bit more, kind of your background before RP or like kind of your life outside of it. I mean, oh, you know. boy. All right. OK, so that's, that's kind of that's kind of what we do here, you know, try to. Try to give the viewers a little, a little background insight on who you are, who you were before you started streaming, and uh, kind of what you do in your daily life. So, I mean, I'd love to ask, I mean, I've been in the RP community here for about, I think, five and a half years. Maybe that's when, what, mm -hmm. SOE started, right? I think so. I think so. Oh, my God. It's been that long. I, I think you're right. Yeah, dude. Five it's, and a half, maybe six. Bro, I, I've grown up in this fucking, in this game, dude, which is not... It, not grown up, but like, I mean, bro, you've done this since I was right. like 18, you know? So like, yeah, like, dude, it's, it's, it's kind of <laughs> crazy, you know? So uh, a lot of people that are into pixel have grown up and you, you've been wanting to see me kind of like, you know, we've, we've been in each other's life for a good minute now. It's kind of crazy to think about it. So, uh, not wrong. I still remember our drives back in SOE yeah. and just like <laughs> shooting the shit, you know, the two, uh, well, I'm not actually Italian, but you know, right. our, the two, uh, you know, Nino and, and Tony just driving around, just, just shooting the shit and always having a good time. Exactly, dude. Yeah, it was, um, we've had a, a lot of good times together in game. So, um, how'd you get started in the whole role play thing? Did like, cause I know your brother Lyric, obviously, like, was he the one who first started and put you on or what happened? Um, I'd say, uh, uh I think that was definitely a part of it. Um, before I would say this is gonna this is gonna found, uh, be, sound funny, but I kind of feel like I began role playing as like a younger child, and I say that in that you know I used to be the kid that used to watch cartoons, right, and then try to mimic the characters and the humor 
in real life, like whether it be in school or whatever. So um, I would be reflecting the comedy I'd see, whether it was like X-Men or whether it was like, uh, you know, whatever cartoon it was. For sure. And I, I would find it like self-entertaining. So fast forward um, and I brought that jokingness, that trolling into, uh, you know, VoIP games. So like if I was playing Call of Duty, I'd mess with people and chat would enjoy it. Um, eventually move into blackjack. And I would argue that in role play for me started in blackjack. Now, for those who aren't familiar, um, I used to go by the alias Don Coco. Like oh on, yeah, that's on, on right. You used to fucking gamble all the time, dude. I remember yeah. that. The Don Coco, dude. <laughs> I remember the clip that you have. Isn't <laughs> it with like the girl or some shit? Like, dude, I need the editor to pull this up if I can find it. But uh, <laughs> dude, that, that clip's so funny. Doesn't she like... Uh, she talk about like putting sexually, ice on her yeah, nipples. Yeah, yeah, like some shit like <laughs> that, dude. <laughs> there, there's a couple of them. Um, it was uh, cause what had happened was, um, I, I believe Soda Poppin started playing uh blackjack, and it was live dealers. And up until then, um, you know, I do like little gags and stuff on the internet. But when I noticed that there was live dealers, I'm like, whoa, there's so much funny potential for this. So, uh. My chat convinced me to play and I would, I took on the alias Don Coco and I, m the whole joke there was I was trying to convince the blackjack dealers that I was a Coke dealer and I was using the website to like launder Coke <laughs> and I would just talk about it and they slowly bought into it. And eventually over time, uh, it, it gained a lot of success on Twitch. Like, you know, at the time I was it's getting like three, funny. four, five thousand 5,000 viewers, which was a lot at the time. Yeah, no, back and, then, dude, that's, that's like, that would, I mean, that's fucking crazy back then. And, and eventually the dealers found out I was streaming and it was all an act. And some of them started to get in on the act with me. And over time it turned into what we call the Costa Rican, like, Tela Nueva, mm -hmm. where I would come on and they'd have content ready for me. Damn, so whether it was like crazy. them gossiping about, hey, that dealer's actually like a prostitute on a, you know, at, at and you know, and sometimes <laughs> it'd be real, sometimes it'd be fake. They'd be, I don't know. And so um eventually that led me to trying out role playing. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. dude. What a way to go into it. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and then fucking Nino, of course, is all about, you know, the big, uh, I mean, at least uh, 2.0 was, you know, he's a big Coke dealer as well. Yep, uh, yep, yep. Damn, dude, that was that's, uh, that's actually where Nino kind of, I think, spawned from. It was on Arma 3 Life. Right. I created Nino Chavez, the Coke head. So it was kind of a derivation of the Don Car Coco that I had in my mind. Was No Pixel the first like role play server you ever played on, or did you have a different one? Uh, it came afterwards. So there was two big ones. There was Arma Three Project Life. I think I've and heard of there that. was, uh, it was actually called CG. Hmm. Okay. Um, Critical Gaming. Yes. Oh yes, and I, I know Critical Gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that yeah, dude. Both of them were on there, and I think it was Arma Three Project Life. I made Nino the cokehead lawyer, and so, uh, and then, and then No Pixel came. I think like a year afterwards. Damn, yeah. I, 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 uh, funny enough, like back in Arma days, because I used to play a lot of Daisy RP and shit. Um, mm -hmm. but that, like, that's where I started. But I got into, uh, started playing on some of those Arma uh, servers. Like, I think the first one you mentioned, that one, like, sounds really familiar and critical as well. But, mm -hmm. uh, my boys wanted to join the No Pixel Arma and we all applied for it. I got in, I got accepted, like, back in 2016. But I oh. never, yeah, I never, I never played it. I never played it, and then it just kind of all fell in line after SOE when No Pixel had their server. It just kind of all just happened. But uh, oh, I I remember that big transitionary period because there used to be so much. Uh, I don't want to call it controversy, but there was a right. lot of like, "Hey, is GTA gonna take over?" And it used to be like, "Oh, but it's just twenty four slots." And then it'd be like, yo, but it looks so sick. And yeah. it was like, yeah. it happened for a good, like, six months to a year where eventually it was like, all right, no, GTA is taking off. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's kind of crazy where it started. I mean, like, 
from back in the day, I mean, you know, like like you just said, the 24 slots, and that's not even to mention the fact that those 24 slots, they're not all necessarily players. I mean, like three or four of those slots were admins. A good majority mm. of those slots were cops, and you'd maybe have like eight to you know 12 people that were actual players. And that was mm. like not everybody was a crim back then. You remember like on the SOE, if you went to jail, you were going to jail for like a couple of days, um, and you had to True. do the time online. I think that was one of the biggest things. I remember when like even Lyric had to, uh, you know, he would log on, do his time offline, so that way the next day he could like start his stream. I mean, we all pretty much did, but I remember that. Yeah, dude. I, I think I never had to go through that that suffering because, you know, I came right in wanting to be the like the very clean guy and like. I, but then again, that also made it interesting. Remember, I remember there was the clip is still on the internet where I was on Nino and y'all were running from like a cop killing, and I took the Sand King and drove oh, it into yeah, the cop. Dude. That was uh, that was family, bro. That was family RP. That was when yeah. uh, somebody somebody was chasing us. But um, yeah, I, I remember that, dude. That was a uh, damn man. It's crazy, bro. How much time it's actually been? It's crazy mm -hmm. to think it's been five and a half years. Like it's actually oh insane, my god, bro. like where where is the time gone, man? Shit used to be so. It's just crazy how things have changed dramatically. Actually, insane. and how many arcs we've probably seen go and come and then repeat themselves. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like literally seasons on seasons of it, dude. Crazy, man. What what's been your favorite, like? Time. This might be a spicy question. Yeah, I was gonna. This might, say. This might be a. This might be a little spicy <laughs> question. Um, if, what, what's what's been your favorite RP kind of server? Error? No pixel. Well, not not necessarily <laughs> server. <laughs> <laughs> no pixel. No pixel. I swear. I swear. I swear. No other server. Oh, please, please. Uh, but no. What's been your favorite like error? Was it like the starting days 2.0 3.0 i'd say we're at fucking like 3.5 now to be honest i mean I don't, I don't even know you know i mean what, what's been your personal like hands down mm -hmm. i love this rp era and i would redo it again all over uh i'm gonna give uh i'd love to give a spicy answer but i wouldn't actually mean it um <laughs> okay. i i, I Fuck honestly it, just say, the, say the spice for why not Fuck it. Uh, it, no, no, no. Okay, I was going to okay, say something okay. that a little uh, trolly, but okay. if I'm going to be, I, I feel like I've been through so many role play cycles right. that I, every time you're in the current role play cycle, it's so easy to reminisce about nostalgia. Oh, and, sure. but when I take a step back, I enjoyed every cycle for its own reason, because yeah. you don't realize how good it is until it's over. Like in true, Arma dude. 3, no, so it, yeah, I mean. There's every season has always had something amazing. Yep. And and I, I, I'm just glad I was a part of each of those cycles. Like I think of like in Arma 3, even when people said it was dying, I love when, you know, the mafia was kicking off and we're uh, it, 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 so this aren't in Arma 3, no pixel, like the mafia was starting up. And then I, I went and like, you know, created the mob and there was so much cool storyline. Like people would be like, oh man, Arma 3. No pixel, I had no role play. And I'm like, bro, you were doing the wrong. You're probably hitting banks all day. Right. The, the, right. Ar the drama was so spicy, even to the point where I'd say some of the things that happened then I've never seen on GTA, like the level of depth. And then I think of like, um, I see Abby in chat. She was a part of the uh, the mob, I remember. Yeah, dude, uh, yeah. I know her <laughs> and Buddha played a lot. I think um, mm -hmm. a lot of no pixel people even played. I, like I said, I never did, but I know they played a bit too. I think Casterman, yeah, Buddha. I still remember when Buddha like sniped <laughs> Coil. <laughs> Coil's character. It was like, because we were like trapped in like the meth lab or something like that. So we tried uh -huh. to like take the agar off. And then I think of like SOE and I, you know, I, I didn't get to play on SOE too long, but right. even like Family RP, there was some just great storylines like, um, you know, y'all bringing me into the fold over there. Yep. And, and then the whole thing with like, you know, the cop murder to like, like for my character, it was like getting dirty, like out front for the first time to like how devastating the permas were. Like we had this guy that used to just talk about things and we dumped him and turned him into chicken nuggets and how big of a deal that was <laughs> yeah. to like, 
um, to 2.0, which had its own storylines. And even the beginning of 3.0, like I loved what we were doing with the clean boys. Oh my like, God. That it was so good. So dude. sick. Fuck, it was and, so good, man. I loved it so oh, much. Bro, everything we, I loved 3.0. It was yeah. like, yeah. Uh, hands down. Like everything yeah. was just so like the plans we came up with, bro. Like it oh. was, it was by far. And you know, is that I, by far, if I had to say my favorite time frame in RP ever, like role play fucking history, was the the whole the like 3.0 up until a year and a half. Um, yep. I think I, after I think, the after I the I casino, agree. I think I kind of. I mean, I think a lot of people did. I mean, you know how GTA gets after I mean, we've been through multiple updates, right? So you have the first mm. year, which is crazy, right? Then you have, you know, the year and a half point where, you know, things start to get, you know, you start to get towards the end. And then now we're at the point of just like, you know, we're cruising we're on cruise control again until True. something new happens. Right. So, I mean, we all know how it is. It happens. But, dude, fucking man, early 3.0, like the start. Oh, my God. By far my favorite. I just loved how like I loved how everything went. I loved the role play. I loved all the, the creative fucking jobs we came up with the energy that everybody had to just like go out there and just fucking like, bro, we would be popping like 16 hour streams, get three oh hours my of sleep, God. wake up and do <laughs> yeah. it all over again and have the fucking max energy, dude. Like the, the drive, the fucking, everything was just fucking perfect, man. It was so good. Oh yeah. And it really dude, is we... like you said too, like, sorry to cut you off, but um, it's so good in the moment and you don't realize it until it's gone. You know what I mean? You're you're so right. Like even going back and thinking about some of the times I was like frustrated with one thing or another, I'm like, man, that's such small peanuts. I I delete everything just to go back. You oh, know, hundred percent, hundred percent agree. I would do it all uh, over again. Man, I I remember uh like before the whole like sleep stream thing became like the meta. Yeah. You and I, oh no no it was during that time. You and I did the the joint like subathon. Yeah, bro, we dude. were awake for so oh much time. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, bro, we used to go crazy. I mean, still like <laughs> the fucking hours were just insane, bro. I I don't know how I did it. Like I would literally do twenty four hours, fucking sleep three hours, four hours, wake up again, stream again. You know, we we all would, dude. It was it was just the drive was crazy, man. It was just so much fucking fun. We have like I feel go ahead. I, I feel like a big reason is starting from scratch and building up. There is so much uh, part of the discovery isn't just like nowadays, if I'm going to be frank, everything boils down to this is how the bank mechanic is. This is like the cookie cutter, like, you know, no spike strips or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like one person is putting 5% thought into a plan. Whereas like back then, every, every interaction like even as like our internal interactions, how we interacted with like new like new groups, like are they are we gonna big dick them? Are we not? Who's this person? Is like everything just every interaction is fresh and meaningful. Yep. And I think by the time you pass that one year mark, two year mark, you're kind of just watching an episode on repeat with a couple, you know, For little sure. changes. Yeah. No, that's that's exactly what it is. I mean, like. It, it's like I said, and you said it perfectly too. It's an episode that's on repeat, and it's not to say that it's not uh, it's not bad, but it's definitely not uh, it's not Boehner episodes every single day, right? You know, you have a couple yeah. of good moments here and there, but it's definitely a lot less than it was before, and obviously because like you know, it's just how it is until something new happens or you know, server wipe. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, not wrong. I think we also benefited from the fact that, you know, um, I, I'm just kind of reflecting on today. Like a lot of times I, I feel like everyone low key without saying it is waiting for someone else to start something, you know, like, yep. you know, start a thing. Whereas like back then it was like you'd get in and like someone would have something to pull you into, you know, whether it was like, yo, I got this idea for a bank or like, yo, this guy is giving us shit. Let's go like the old man. Remember that day that you, me, Harry, and oh, who is the who's the other one? It was like the old dude that we just randomly saw and we decided to just murder him. Oh yeah, dude, I remember that. We took him to the fucking lighthouse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, that was Bjorn's other character, bro. Yes, that shit was yeah. hilarious. 
That was oh, funny. that was Bjorn. Yeah, it was Biotox. Yeah, it was his other no. character. Yeah, dude. holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, that was good, man. Yeah, but uh, I feel like the servers, like not even the server, I just I guess GTA in general is uh, it's like you know when Tarkov's kind of like late, right? And like you kind of have all the top ammo, you have the top guns, right? Top level, all that mm -hmm. shit. Like, yeah, I'm just ready for the wipe. You know what I mean? It's, you know. I'm ready. I'm ready for something new. I'm excited yeah. to see what it could be, though. Like, honestly, I, I don't. I mean, whenever something does happen, I mean, I know uh, Coyle put out a little, like, teaser yesterday, but, I mean, that's, like, classic no pixel. Um, mm -hmm. But, I mean, if there is something new coming, uh, I'm very interested in seeing what that's going to be. I mean, I think everybody is, but I'm, I have no idea what it could be. 3.0 was crazy enough in itself, so I, I just... Curious to what they have in store, you know? Oh, I, I, I totally agree. I think, um, you know, I, I think it's going to be really exciting. Oh, like, same. I will say that, you know, I try to, I try to, in some respect, I mean, I will say that there's such a strong difference between when I play my cop and when I play my crim, but every day I try to get on and say, what can I do today that's going to create RP, right? Yeah, because you sure, never dude. really know when something's going to go down, but there in the back of my mind i'm like oh man when a wipe comes like i just can't wait to see what happens because you no yeah. one knows yeah right? dude exactly no one knows and i think it's going to be fucking i mean i'm just i'm excited for it man i will become sooner sooner or what's what's the uh word sooner rather than later i guess um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but my fucking luck i mean who knows dude I'll, I'll take a week <laughs> off and then it'll fucking come out, bro. But uh, who knows? I'm excited though, man. Um, so a little, you know, side note. Enough mm. of the pixel for a little bit. Uh, I wanted to ask you, how did you get into streaming and stuff? Because if I'm not mistaken, you've been streaming since Justin.TV, right? Uh, almost. Um, I think like maybe a year afterwards, maybe two years. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm like a Uber nerd which I'm sure people have already kind of picked up on. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I did, I was, uh, I saw, uh, I used to be a software architect, uh, for oh, a startup. Jeez. And so, uh, I think I, I think I was in the software industry for like eight years, I think before, uh, I went full time. So, you know, got my computer science degree um, I used to, I was like the one guy in college. I went to UMass Amherst, which is a huge party school in Massachusetts. <laughs> so I was the guy that got kicked out after, uh, uh, after two semesters. Cause I kept skipping all my classes and only got A's and CS and everything else. Like, you know, the, you know, the bio development of, uh, you know, DNA or whatever. Like I'd skip all those. And so I got kicked out. And started working, and I'm going super far back, but it's a cool story. No, you're okay, dude. And we have all the time in the world. Say it. I ended up joining a, uh, so I had to end up going to Worcester State, so uh, for because I was on academic suspension, mm -hmm. and I joined. Uh, I, I started going to school there and working part time as a car dealer. And I will tell you, some Nino Chavez is based on half of those people. Damn, Top okay. salesman, huge cokehead. <laughs> like literally would come to work coked one day he put a freaking pipe next to his desk because like his coke dealer was coming to work yeah. and we thought it was normal the manager was going what hooked up with his babysitter mm -hmm. who babysat his six month old and oh, let's just shit. say he ended up going to jail um the uh the top saleswoman okay was super hot super chill tried to hook me up we used to every Friday go get Starbucks and oh, everyone shit. get lit. You took her on the Starbucks date, huh? Okay. No, 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 no. We oh. she would she brought me to pick him up one day. Oh shit. And she okay. tried to hook me up with her sister. Like we went to her oh, house randomly. Oh, okay, and okay, she's okay, like, You bad. wanna come in? And I'm like, What's going on? <laughs> and she woke up her like sister and she wanted to enter. She ended up uh it used to be like a Toyota dealership. Right. She used to sell uh uh, fuck it uh people that were illegally in the country used vehicles that no one would buy like the yeah. old kias she'd sell them to old price and like skamaz the social security number somehow 
Damn, like it was really? so sketch. And and that's only just some of them. Oh, I right. was gonna buy a M3, like the one from Sopranos, you oh, know, like yeah, the 98 yeah. M3. Yep. The the finance guy told me not to do it. And he told me the story about like how BMW, like he did similar to his BMW, and the maintenance was so high. He pulled it on the side of Mass Pike and lit the thing on fire and said someone stole it. So, and I'm telling <laughs> Wait, you, what the dealers, fuck? Yeah. <laughs> no I shot, swear dude, to crazy. God. I swear to you. Man, insurance part of the M3. Oh, yeah. And and what's crazy is like, um, like, oh, oh, and and this you can even fact check. Yeah. What ended up becoming like my best friend there, if you think that's crazy. Um, it turns out that like, listen, weed wasn't legal in you, uh, like in Massachusetts for a while, right? Like, right. You know, my friends are stoners and like, yeah, I knew a kid yeah, yeah. from high school that used to bring like pounds and whatever. Pounds. Like, you know how, like when you're young, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You, you know, like when you're, when you're kids, you're sometimes gonna, um, yeah, you're not going to do you know, the you're best gonna flaunt decisions. Shit. Yeah. Flaunt yeah. It, you know, you're going to flaunt a little. And like, I wasn't into that stuff, but like. It was like me and, and this guy who'd just been hired. He was 19. Oh, yeah. I, I think I was 19 at the time as well. Like, uh, we started like, because he was my age, like at the dealership. So, like, you know, we would just get to go and he had a sick beamer and like whatever. Like, we, you know, we'd get to talk. And one day we started like big dicking what we knew, right? Like, yeah, you know, I got a friend, you know, he brings pounds of like weed to college. And he's like, oh, <laughs> nice, well, of course. you know, I have the feds that pulled me over with a pound of ecstasy in the back <laughs> and I'm on a million dollar bill. And I'm like, okay, dude. You know what I mean? Like, nice. you're not gonna yeah. believe that shit. Yeah, right, right, right. right. So, like, I I meet up with my my buddies in uh in Worcester, like family friend, like you know, friends you like that you know through your friends, your parents or whatever. Right. Yeah. And yeah. and they're like, like I brought up his name, and they all like were like stun locked, and they're like, and and, and a couple they of them who were this like guy was? much older. Yeah, they're like, you cannot hang out with him. I'm like, what? Oh god! Like they just got busted for the biggest like bust in Worcester history. You can pull that shit up. I'm sure someone in chat will pull it up. But oh yeah, these guys were literally in like the Worcester mafia. It was totally legit. They got raided with like fucking AKs and shit in the trunk. Like fucking damn. All- and you met this guy? Yeah, we were friends, man. We Holy used to go hang shit. out and get like <laughs> like br- go like we go to the club and shit like that. And then all of a sudden, I realized like his friends that. That his family that lit that worked at the dealership across the street, also similar age, who wore, wore like Armani suits and shit. Right, like these dudes that I'm like hanging and chilling with are all on these million dollar fucking bails, waiting Damn. for shit to go down. And so my ass is like, I'm going back and I'm gonna start studying. Yeah, so, <laughs> fuck that, dude. Yeah, gonna be so one of those guys. I ended up getting a master's degree, uh, magna cum laude, uh, from uh, in CS. Like legit, that shit. Like I'm like I, I'm getting a real job, bro. Yeah, nah, fuck I'm, that, uh, dude. You know, fuck that shit. Yeah, don't need no fucking million dollar bond. Yeah, you're on the FBI's radar, bro. You're fucking with them, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Oh yeah, there was probably dudes like in fucking bushes taking photographs of me, like hanging out with these dudes. They're probably know? out there somewhere, dude. They gotta be. So, yeah. So I ended up doing well, ended up working at a company called EMC for a while. They got bought by Dell, then went to a startup called Simplivity, yep. which uh, is a, uh, you ever watch that show called, um, oh my God, it was on HBO, Silicon Valley? Um, No, I don't think I, I, I mean, I've heard of it. I've just never watched it. So that show's actually based on the startup that I worked at. Oh, like, shit, okay. Uh, it was like the same, like the, not the same thing, but it was the same, like it, they pretended they were, but, um, anyways, yeah, I was one of the first like 50 people over there and Damn, the okay. executives drove that into the, into the ground. So a year before, uh, they ended up getting bought by HP. I had already been streaming blackjack and they low key were pissed at me because I didn't know my coworkers used to watch me. Right. Oh, so one shit, day they found out. Yeah, well, no, because they were friends, right? So, like, yeah, they yeah. came up to me, like, when I got partnered, and they're like, yo, congratulations. I'm like, what the fuck? You guys watch me? And my <laughs> manager, who's two cubes down, pulled me into an office and gave me this spiel, like, 
hey, you know, you're at a startup and da, da. like, listen, bitch, you just got hired like two months ago. I <laughs> I helped make this company, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, who are you going to tell me yeah, like you what I like can and cannot belt? do on my right, off time, right. you know? And so at that point, like, like I was just like done. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck this place. Uh, I'm going to try streaming. And uh, damn, here you are now. <laughs> here you yep. are, dude. Damn, man. So, you know, I... I uh, you know, I, I don't know if you could touch on it too much, um, mm. but obviously, you know, you stream over at Facebook, I think still, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know if you can, you know, touch on it much, but uh, what, like, what's next for, for, for you know, Das Medi? You, you staying over on Facebook? You thinking about going to YouTube? You know, Twitch? I don't, I don't know if you could talk too I, much on it, but yeah, no, absolutely. I am hoping to be on Facebook as long as possible. I uh, nothing wrong with that, dude. Nothing wrong with yep, that, man. Yep. Nothing wrong um, with but that. But no, I I can't uh obviously like, you know. Yeah, you can't say uh, it too much, I'm, obviously. I'm partnered with Facebook, so like, you know, there's details that I can't really publicly yeah, disclose. Exactly, but. exactly. Exactly. I can't. Yeah. No, I, I <laughs> <laughs> sorry, maybe bad question to ask. Sorry, dude. <laughs> no, you're no, like, no. Bro, you're, you're good. trying to get me fired over here. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> My bad, bro. I'm sorry, man. Nah, dude. I, I mean, how, how do you like it so far? I it's You've it's, been, what, it's two years almost now, right? Yeah, it's been about a year and a half. Um, I gotta say, I've been really enjoying it. There's a lot of, um, there, I mean, there's stark differences between, uh, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, etc. Oh, for sure. Um, obviously, there's like a smaller user base, but like I've been very, I think, blessed to have such a big amount of my community like come over. And the most surprising thing is when you know you get people that learn about RP through Facebook, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's like an interesting experience. Mm -hmm. I've always said, um, dude, that like people, um, you know, people who really like you, who really, you know, want to watch you, who really want to support you. They're not necessarily going to care wherever you go. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll follow you and they'll watch you wherever, wherever you take your content. I feel like, um, now obviously some users are dedicated to their certain platforms, but, I think when it really, really comes down to it, at the end of the day, if somebody likes you, they'll follow you. You know, they'll 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 go wherever you are. Absolutely, I I don't disagree with that. And and of course, like I don't hold any resentment against those yeah, who no, are like can't. you know don't want to use one platform or another. Right. But you know, um, you, you couldn't be uh more right. I mean, even uh the same goes like when you're able to try other things out. I mean, the, the elephant in the room for us GTA role players is always going to be you know, can I go and transition and play something else? Like we yeah, get those hits, right? For sure. And, and, and it's okay. It's like watching, um, you know, uh, to make an analogy, it's like, if you saw the rock, like do like a serious romantic drama, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, right. Maybe that's what he wants to do, you know, but like, you know, I can understand people may not be down to watch that. I, but then it might turn out he might be decent at it. You know what I'm saying? There's still fans of The Rock. They just don't want to see him in a love story. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I feel you. <laughs> like the Rock on like Daunton Abbey or something. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Have you been playing like, because uh, obviously now like over at Facebook, I mean, not to get mm -hmm. like too in detail, but like I imagine you kind of have more free room to kind of like do whatever you want, you know? Um, maybe I, I don't know if that's wrong or not, but do you. Yeah, uh, it's. Do you, you know, are you playing too much anything else but GTA or kind of what, what, what's you to right now? I'm definitely a little bit more cognizant. I think uh, because uh, a lot of my audience is kind of new over here, uh, yeah. you know, it, I think there's more balancing I need to do um, on my end. But the freedom, I, I'd say it's a mix. It's a mixed bag. Like I definitely stream way more than I need to because I still absolutely adore role play so i can't help myself of course of course um but i do still hit up every triple a game i can um so i'm playing about the same or maybe more it's hard to say like i don't do tarkov on stream because it would just be molding all day yeah um, I, I have an alt for tarkov i'm not gonna lie like i just i don't know dude like i that game dude it drives me it drives me a little insane <laughs> i like to manage my inventory and it's just I'm like, yep yeah yep. i don't know dude so have you um all right i i feel like you have this is kind of a dumb question no uh, no go for dead, it dead space have you ever played it before 
I played the original and right. I'm hearing the new one is so good, but I'm like questioning I'm either going to play Harry Potter or that because I feel like I won't be able to play both. Like there's not enough time between GTA and whatever that I might do it if it's like an eight hour game. But if not, I'd rather go ham and Harry Potter because I know that's like 36 oh, dude, yeah, to that's 40 hours. 36 to 40? That's yeah, crazy. there's a hundred side quests. Wait, is Dead Space really long? Uh, would Dead Space, I think, is going to be... It, I think the old one was only eight hours, but Harry Potter is 36 to 40. Jesus. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a Dead Space stream in like one like mm. one whole, whole go because they just released a remastered, but... I think it's worth checking out. Like, if, uh, if it's... I mean, look at Resident Evil 2. That was yeah, so that good. Was gas. Yeah, dude, that was fire. So, and Dead Space might be along those lines because is it a remake or a remaster? It's a, I think like, it's a. Isn't it a remake? Like, uh, or, or no, I think it's a remaster. If I'm not mistaken, I think it just remastered it all. Or no, remake. Be, I guess remake. Okay. Oh, all then right. I would definitely yeah. play that. All right, hot topic question. Okay. All right, I'm ready. I know you're in the gaming sphere. You give your opinions on a lot of games. Yep. All right, there's a game, and I'm sure you've heard of it. It's called The Day oh, Before. The day, day Before, yep, yep. What do you think oh, about this? Oh, that's a scam. Do you think it's a scam? Do you think it's coming out? Is 100%. not coming out? Because did you see what they tweeted? Yeah, that, yeah, like, I did. That, like, they couldn't get their game on Steam because of, like, the name or some shit? Mm-hmm. Dude, like, it, it's got to be a scam, right? Like, there, there's no it, way. I don't think this game's coming out, bro. It's got to be. I mean, um, I'm very vocal about, I think, too many... Uh, a lot of games... Okay, so uh, I'll give you my my the, the background to my answer. Right. Uh, I think uh, a lot of quote-unquote gamers are just a bunch of neckbeards that sit on Reddit R games, <laughs> crit over-criticizing video games of every type, uh, expecting, like, being disappointed because it's not, like, their favorite game, Tetris, from, like, 30 years ago. Right. And <laughs> what that ends up happening is, like, every even attempt by like an indie studio to make an early access title when they don't have the resources, they're trying something creative. People would jump on it and be like, Oh my God, it's just early access garbage. And it's like, okay, go ahead and go play like fucking call of duty number 36 and complain <laughs> about that too. Yeah. You know, there's always, so like there's kind of this backdrop and negative outlook on early access titles. And, sure. but, but I look at like all the successes, like, yeah, sure. There's some like shit game by it by, some one Russian dev that made like a clicker game, whatever, right? But there's so many good ones, like whether it's like Graveyard Digger or whether even Tarkov, like, yeah, okay, it's going sideways right now, but it's still, I'm putting, who we're putting hundreds of hours into this game, enjoying it. I love there's, Tarkov, dude. I don't give a fuck what anybody yeah, says, bro. That game is I, like, there's no other fucking game like it. Dude. There's nothing else like it. And I would kill for a AAA game that's like Tarkov. But the fact of the matter is, AAA studios are so big that they're investing millions and millions of dollars that they will never try something that isn't a sure cookie cutter thing because no one's got, no investor is going to gamble on something like that. That's nope. why even companies like Blizzard, who was one of the big innovators as a AAA company, is now doing the same. So it's only these early access indie devs that are going to give it a shot. Yes, only 5% are going to make it and the rest are going to be garbage. But I quite frankly think at, at a certain level, the consumer is also responsible not to be a fucking dumbass that when yeah. they go to the steam page and see like a bunch of dog shit and see it's negative reviews that if they hit the purchase button, play for 20 minutes and then cry about it, whose fault is it? Yeah. It's like going to the store. Like, you know, you go to some like, like store to buy clothes. Right. And you see like Oshkosh Bagosh or whatever that company <laughs> is, like their jeans up on display and they're like, you know, you feel the material and it's crap and you buy it and you're like, why did my jeans rip? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Fucking like, dog shit. You, yeah. You know what you're getting. So like in, in, in with that background and I think when I first saw the game, I kind of thought it might be real, but I think when I realized it wasn't, is when I started them displaying no progress for six months and for them not to, and this is the, the day before yep. is when we got so close to the day that we're going to reveal the gameplay and there wasn't any leaked footage. There wasn't any like details. It was just 
pretend prototype. So yeah, it's, it's, it's bullshit. It's literally just a scam. Um, and what's probably going to happen is once November rolls, which is their new release date. Yep. I think Wait, they're they going to release it back. I mean, of course. Oh they, yeah. Of that course is they the did. latest. Yeah. yeah. So the original thing was, um, you know, they were supposed to do the gameplay reveal and a day before they said that, well, because someone trademarked the day before beforehand, yeah. we have to fix that. And so we're delaying everything till November. What that means right. is, and what's most likely happening, especially when you look at the team, is that it probably started as a concept. They got enough money through uh, whatever means, and now they're scamazing money from investors. Is it a scam for consumers? I or do people even buy into the game? I don't even think so. Right? Are they even taking Kickstarter money? I don't. I don't think they've had a Kickstarter. Right? I, I don't think they have. Maybe I, I'm not too sure. I mean, it can't be as bad as fucking uh. Uh, what was that one fucking game dude the one that everybody was hyped for for the rp shit like you could buy apartments and fucking cars and all that oh what the yeah. fuck was that dude citizen yeah <laughs> yeah dude, everybody's yeah bro i bought like i bought the biggest package they have and you know i got the apartment and, like it's gonna be custom apartments and cars dude like oh this is gonna be the biggest yeah. rp thing possible and and it was just like a freaking fucking square like, dude it was a square, square. <laughs> It was literally like a Legion Square type beat with nothing, dude. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, identity, yeah, that's what it is. Identity. identity. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Fuck. No, not Star Citizen. Listen, no, I'm, not a, star I'm citizen, a Star no. Citizen nerd. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, dude. Oh uh, my god. I I think if uh, now there is still that like one percent chance it's a real game, but what I think it would is before? what's the day before, yep. Yeah, yeah. I, I think what we're going to end up seeing in November is probably those same cars, those same locations strung together. So it's probably going to go from like the gas station to a little field to like that one house and maybe a couple more houses. Yeah. Um, and I think they're really just scamming investors. Uh, I think uh, that that is what it is. But awesome, and, and if man. it was real, it, anyone with a competent brain would be working there would say, Oh my God, this looks bad. Let's go show some new footage, right? Let's show, because especially because they're going to have to come out with a new name, they have to show something. Otherwise, they lose every potential customer, right? Yeah. Which is already being lost. Like, I mean, they, they have to, they, they tweeted they have to quench the fears. hours ago that, like, oh, new, you know, news, more news very soon. Stay tuned. But I feel like they always <laughs> do that. They always do that shit. It's like, oh, this is coming, you know, like, Okay, for sure, for sure, you know, right, 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 right. The project um, is way too big to be real. Yeah, the videos do look insane too, though. I'm not gonna lie, like the mm -hmm. fucking them walking through the mall and all the lights. That's the thing. Oh like, my god, how do you? Uh, is is like, is that stuff hard to create for them to like, you know, kind of piece together a world like that and like animations and all that shit, or is that it, fairly it, easy? It, it's it's uh. Uh, yes and no. So uh, I definitely think they probably got some really good uh, 3D artists. Right. And uh, I would say that some of what's in there is a lot of effort. Like that mall, I, I, I know I've seen the videos about like how the gas station looks like the one from The Last of Us, how the streets look like they're out of the division. There's definitely heavy uh, inspiration slash possibly like copying, right? Right. Where, um, but But someone still had to put that 3d stuff into work but the difficult thing especially when it comes to a survival game is client synchronization building recoil all these kind of things and that stuff is hard it with unreal engine 5 i think you can make uh you know a single artist can make a very beautiful world in, in a course of a year especially when you can you know download animations and all these kind of things things have gotten a lot easier but when it comes to actually a game that's enjoyable and does something Right. That's where the trouble comes in. Yeah, it's a little bit harder for that. I've wondered mm -hmm. if, if it was just easy for them to kind of like make this like cinematic intro of like gameplay and then that's probably what they're selling people on. Oh, a hundred percent. So like that, they that's probably what downloaded like. like real mud plugin or something, right? And then drove like a vehicle over it and it looks sick. But what happens is when they probably 
Like, you know, you've seen how bad Streets of Tarkov is. On oh, yeah, Tarkov dude. Right it's now. fucking terrible, man. It's, it's terrible. That's once they go live, right? Let's say they take this environment and they put like, like, they're, like it might go live and they might have these maps and yeah, maybe it's probably going to be such a desynced mess that, you know, it's going to be like, all right, 20 people per server or something. Yeah, because if you still go on Streets, now, don't get me wrong. Streets is great. I love the fucking map. But if you mm -hmm. go on there right now, You'll have uh, like memory leaks, a uh, good amount. Um, FPS will be a little fucking weird. I mean, like a 4090 for me to go on streets and have like, I don't know, like 50 FPS at some areas. That's just a little fucking weird. Uh, but I mean, it comes down to server and all that shit too. But I mean, you could load on there now and people are still having fucking the desync issues or they'll stand still, you know, like there's so many issues with that map. Yep. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. I, every time I've been in there uh, these last two days, it's just been like rubber banding left and right. They released a patch today that was supposed to help. Oh, hopefully, dude. I want to start playing again, but it just takes so much time. <laughs> yeah. I told myself I'm not playing this patch. There's not enough content. And then literally last week, I was sitting here like at my desk, and I'm like, I'm going to download it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Moving on from the games, though, the game topic, I kind of mm -hmm. want to know more about you, man. Like, kind of what's, uh, you know, when you're not streaming, uh, like, what do you enjoy doing? Or, like, what's, I don't know, what's kind of like a chill day for you? Like, what's your go-to? Um, If I'm not playing games, I've definitely become a huge foodie. Oh, um, yes, dude. Mm -hmm. We're the same. I, I know, dude. That's yeah, why I'm so excited to hang out. Oh, I. Man. I don't know when it started, but it was probably a couple of years ago where like, I think I started watching like the Gordon Ramsay, right? And even before then I'd watch a little bit, but I got a little bit more into like, wait, there's more to cooking than just, you know, slapping a pizza in the oven. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And as time went on, um, there was a day, I want to say like three, four years ago where I me and a buddy decided to just go to like a nice restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. And slowly, oh no, no, no! It was the it was a friend I that I worked with at Simplicity, uh, the startup, and he was a huge foodie. He cooks like insane meals, puts them on Instagram, and he got me to learn about craft beers and the food and the ingredients. And it's like he opened the door to a world that I didn't know existed. Right. Where one way trip not to flavor just, town. It was. And now um me and my friend, like every like two, three weeks, we'll go and find a restaurant that has something fresh and new and we'll do like a chef's tasting. And if oh, they don't yeah. have it, we will create our own. In other words, we'll tell the waiter, and people literally think we're like reviewers. It's hilarious. We'll tell them like what we want to do and they'll bring us nine dishes and we'll just split them and like they'll be set up like appetizer and then some entrees and the end with the dessert you know get some drinks. i love that dude yeah, man, man. that that's my that's my enjoyment it's like really uh you know i i love that that or partying one of the two. Oh, you know, dude yeah, yeah party guy huh yeah let's go <laughs> yeah 100 like are you still in um is that a, i don't know if you austin know area you live. uh wait are you in austin oh boston area no oh, no, no boston, boston area. yeah yeah do you like yeah. you still there yeah, I uh I'd love to go. I'm I'm looking for somewhere else. Honestly, I probably would have moved by now if housing prices didn't go through the roof. Yeah. But I'm like checking out some places. Like I wanted to go to Austin 15 years ago. Now I I, I don't know. I might be weird, but I don't really want to go to Austin when like 80% of Twitch lives yeah, over there. I, would, like, I wouldn't go there to be honest. I lived there for a couple of months. I, I didn't really like it. And if you're a big foodie too, uh mm. hot take, and sorry to say this if you live in Austin, but Y'all motherfuckers depend so much on your fucking locally sourced food. You, you <laughs> shove it down your fucking throat, man. That's all you do. Everything there, oh, local this, local that. They cover up the fucking bad food with that. It's local, bro. It's all fucking wow. shit, man. Austin's food <laughs> is dog shit. The only good food that they have there is like the barbecues and uh, honestly, just the fucking barbecues, I believe man. it. Like, I believe it. I, I don't mean to be that guy, but like. Motherfucker, local can only take you so far, my brother. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't like it too much, dude. And I'm a big foodie. So when I moved from Chicago to, to Austin, it kind of was like, 
uh, my taste buds were, you know, they were, they were, they were crying. Man. Oh, I believe that. I, I, I totally believe it. I, I remember taking a similar experience when I was down in Austin and like, I went to go look up some places and it was so generic. I was just like, Ugh. that's the thing, bro. It's so, like, it's so fucking generic, man. It's like copy and paste type shit. It's just like, it, mm -hmm. none of it was great. And it was just all, you know, local, this local, that, and everybody was yeah. so crazed about it. Like, oh, you have to go to this local place. Like, Oh, they, they do everything there. Like, it's so great. They source all their stuff from, from here. And I'm just like, I go there and I'm like, y'all motherfuckers are crazy. Bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is nothing. And, and then they're charging outrageous prices, dude. Like, yeah, no thanks, I believe bro. it. And that's the thing, like a, uh, and, and to be clear for everyone in chat, if there's any foodies in chat, we're, we're not talking about like, like, you know, a, a good restaurant that sources all their stuff and like changes their menu based on what's in season and makes something creative. Right. It's just, I, this is just generic shit that just happens to be using. Yeah, dude, like, it's like, and you know, I'm sure the, the, the reality is, man, I don't know if you've seen the, have you seen the movie called the menu? No, no. Is okay. It good? Yeah. You should watch it. You should watch it. But the reality is, is like, you know, somebody's back there in the kitchen and they're making this and they think it's great. And honestly, you know, they're working hard to bring out this plate just for me to enjoy it, right? So for me to shit all over it, it's kind of unfair. But, you know, <laughs> they're working their whole life to, you know, make this meal. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's yeah, I, I don't know, dude. It's, uh, I feel like an asshole kind of saying it. I mean, I am an asshole. No, I mean, there's it, nothing wrong in it. I just, you know, probably, I just thought the food was way overpriced. And, you know, man, mm. like, if I'm buying it, dude, like, I want my food to be good, dude. And especially like they hide behind that local shit, I think a little bit too much, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, Bo Boston's actually got an insane oh scene. Oh my God. I love Boston, dude. I went there one time, one time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I think I, I actually think I've seen you there. That was when, um, me and, uh, my ex were together. And then I think that was our second time meeting, but I was in Boston with, uh, mm. Pax East is that is that what it is there? Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah, I, yeah I remember yeah. I couldn't go to a bar back in the day because I was too young, um, mm -hmm. but I think I seen you kind of like in the area in Pax East. But yeah, I dude. I think I remember. I think it was probably the year before TwitchCon, the first one. Yeah, I was a little, little young guy, man. Little young guy. Yep, little little Tony little Corleone, Tony, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude. <laughs> fucking, what you mean i can't yeah, go in the bar <laughs> what are you talking about eh? you can't go to the fucking bar what do you mean eh? what are you saying oh man oh, yeah, we got we got some good spots like a lot of seafood is like like uh the, the problem with the like uh for a local to find a good restaurant is most publications are aimed at tourists right. so they all, all the the seafood stuff gets super highly rated so you miss out on some just amazing Italian spots, like oh, dude, um, yes. Oh, it's just uh, the one I'm going to actually tomorrow is a French Italian fine dining restaurant. Oh, uh, nice! Yeah, Sounds it's fire. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I went to a dope dinner last night. Um, whenever you come out here, I'll, I'll take you there. Um, hundred percent. It's uh, Providence. If you ever come out to LA or like, you know, if we don't link up or something happens, you're ever out here and you want to try some crazy shit, go to a restaurant called Providence. They have two Michelin stars and I think it's like Ooh. a 14 or 15 course meal. It's uh, oh my the God. dinner takes about three hours and 30 minutes to complete. Um, mm -hmm. It's, I, I, it's, I'm not even joking. Like that's literally like the timestamp on it. Um, oh wow. It's a very I believe it. long dinner. It's fucking mm -hmm. sick though. It's so much, so much great food, man. I'll have to, uh, I'll send you some pictures after uh, the bro. Today, I am I I am already hype. Yeah, dude, like it's crazy. oh, the place yeah, I'm going crazy. to I think is like uh, nine or twelve. I don't Jeez, remember which of the God two, damn. but but like me and my buddy are the kind of motherfuckers are gonna be like, all right, we're also gonna add these to the side. Oh, you <laughs> have to, bro. You have yeah, to. yeah. You literally have to, man. You, have you got to be dude. careful with those court. Like I, I'm sure that place is great, but I have been to some where. They try a restaurant will try to be a higher tier by doing a nine to twelve course or like a a pre free me menu, right? And they'll like price it high, but then give you dog shit, right? Oh, Whereas yeah, there yeah. other no, stuff we've on the menu. We've definitely had good. those before. I mean, there was one place that we went to. I don't want to name it because I think actually, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But there was a spot that we went to, and you know, there was there was some rave behind it. But I'll be honest, man, it was kind of dog shit. Um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't <laughs> go there again. I'll tell you the name of it. it's just there's somebody who owns it, and I don't want to upset that person. Um, oh, I got yeah, you. Yeah, it makes yeah, I, so, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was kind of ass. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it was uh it wasn't it wasn't the best. But you know, I love food, man. So big foodie guy too, huh? Hell yeah. yeah, dude! We'll have to. We'll Everyone's to got. Dinners. Everyone who is listening to this, uh, give yourself an opportunity at least once to find a restaurant or a friend who's a foodie, or uh, to to go to like a nice spot, and it doesn't have to be like the the French, uh, you know, Riviera restaurant, like you know, exactly, nothing like that. Dude. It, there's a lot of these. Like one of my favorite spots is literally a bar, but they've got a sick chef. And um, it, it's going to change your your world. And it's not as expensive as you may think. Yeah, um, dude, exactly. And even like, bro, like there's there's spots like um, I don't know if you uh, watch like cooking YouTube videos too much, but my friend his name I is uh, Alvin. I, I always okay. forget how to pronounce his last name. I forget, but I don't think I know how to pronounce it. Alvin Zo or Zhao or something like that. Z-H-O-U. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. Um, so. I'm going out there on New York uh, on the 5th. Um, his birthday's out there. We're going to have a good time. But he has put me on to like a lot of great restaurants out here in L.A. that mm -hmm. aren't your fucking, you know, $300 a person, crazy ass dinner, you know, like, yep. holy shit, you know, right? He's taking me to like these mom and pop spots that like for five to six people, the bill's like 100 bucks, you know, like wow. it's some of the best yep. food that I've ever had. You know what I mean? Like, I believe it. It's some really, really good fucking stuff, dude. Um, so yeah, it's man. the indie devs versus the triple a studio. A hundred percent, dude. A hundred percent. Like, and it, like you were saying, it goes to show like, bro, get a friend or even, you know, fuck it. Go by yourself. You know, there's nothing wrong with going to eat somewhere by yourself. I do it all the time, but, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, get a, get a friend, go by yourself, find a nice little spot, try out some things, dude. You know, I love the fucking experience of trying new food, man. Oh, I'm I'm with you. I mean, like, don't I get it? You open up your DoorDash and it's like, oh man, I could just press this button and get oh, this food. I hate DoorDash, dude. I hate DoorDash. It's, it's it so easy, you. dude. It's so easy. And what you're gonna get is something that's already oh, been. Fuck, I ordered a coffee minutes like forty five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is outside. Bugs all in it and everything. Never mind. All right, fuck it. Bro, it, it's so much easier to just like, I mean, look, you go DoorDash, even like like McDonald's, you end up spending like 50 bucks or something it's like that because of delivery. And dude. It's insane. I swear it's gone up in price. Like Bro. it wasn't like that like oh, two years 100%. ago. Last year but, when I did, oh my, my bad, go ahead, go ahead. I, I was just going to say like, instead of spending 50 on that, like literally just go try out a place that you've never been to locally. You might be shocked. Like they might actually be insanely good, and you just don't know yet. Yep. Last year when I was uh was doing my you know doing the, you know doing my uh taxes, kind of looking uh you know where some of the money went, right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like looking looking at some things, looking at my spending, right? Yeah. I looked at my DoorDash and uh, my brother in Christ. I mean, I was paying for like two people back then, but uh, man, the DoorDash every day lunch and dinner oh my yeah God. Oh, jesus christ you don't even want to fucking know dude oh i i believe <laughs> it even i want to fucking know dude it was bad bro yo that was my last year because I, I i like i remember like i kind of just like chilled on like um like updating my finances and keeping track of it right and i remember looking at like how the frick did i spend all this money in these months and then I like hit the breakdown button and it was just like food. Because <laughs> yep. it was like you said, it was too easy. You go order every day, which is honestly with us streaming, it's such like an easy thing to do. But like, well, incoming weight gain, incoming like bills. And, you know, when instead you could have been going to a fine dining restaurant probably every day. <laughs> oh, dude, 100%, man. I mean, you know, it, you know it, it's very, very easy. It was very easy to just order, right? And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't really cook. And 
Britt could cook, but she, you know, she didn't really want to cook too much, obviously, because it's so easy to just order DoorDash. I don't blame mm -hmm. her. Um, but yeah, dude, it was definitely, definitely very, very expensive and, you know, definitely cut back for sure on that because <laughs> I don't need to be fucking ordering breakfast, lunch, fucking dinner, fucking, you know, late night snack type beat. You know what I mean? Yeah, very true. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I use, um, I had a sponsor with Factor and I actually use them quite a bit. I actually like it's, their meals. They're not too bad. They're pretty good. I'm a huge Factor fan. Dude. I think I've been using it for... I want to say two years now, something like that. And uh, I actually just yesterday hit my weight goal record. Oh, I think I lost yeah. like 50, 60 pounds, Jeez. maybe 70. I don't even know, but like I'm, uh, it made a huge difference. I went to the barber and the barber was like, like, just like, couldn't stop complimenting. You're cut, me. you're cut, bro. You're yeah, him. You're I'm literally cut. him. Dude, yeah. I'm so jealous of your beard, man. Your beard looks so good, dude. I'm trying to oh. grow one, but it's not going that well. I mean, it's going somewhere, but I mean, it's... just give it time. Like mine's, I I started doing the beard like I think three years ago, right. and you're never gonna get that full like right away because you know some of your hairs are gonna go faster than others. So you just gotta and go to a good barber. Like yeah. those are the two uh, pro tips. Yeah, I need to get a haircut actually uh, again, but yeah, but, like I I noticed that my hair is growing back faster. Now. Like if I shave my face, like. Pretty much all the hair that I have on my face right now will come back in a day or two. Oh, um, there you go. So like it's 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 getting there again. But uh, you know, I mean, we'll see. I don't I don't know. I'm also like, fuck, man. Do I want to keep my baby face still? Like <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Once That's you go beard, business. it's hard to go back. I'm gonna it be honest. It really is, bro. It adds like a whole other texture to you, man. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Like, and not only that, but like you don't have to shave. Like shaving sucks. Oh, like, dude, yeah, I know. I taught myself like how to shave, and bro, like mm -hmm. the amount of like I ain't gonna lie, like I, my dad didn't really teach me, you know what I mean? So I kind of like yep. taught myself. So I was like, bro, how the fuck do I do this? <laughs> so like, I used to not know that like um you needed like shaving cream, right? I didn't know that. Yeah. So I would just like, and you you know, call me stupid, oh, but like damn. my dude, I never got taught. Like yeah, nobody yeah, ever yeah, taught yeah. me. Like I, I left home, you know what I mean? Like. You know, mm -hmm. anyway, so I would just like, I would just, you know, shave my face with like a razor and water. Like I didn't know this. You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't know shit. how that yeah, shit went. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then like, I was like, dude, like this doesn't seem right. So I looked up a video on like how to actually shave. And then, you know, I, I found out and then that's kind of, you know, that's why I got the shaving cream, yeah. the whole thing, you know, and that now it's, you know, it's even better, dude. So yeah, dude, it was, uh, no, no, I did it with water. No, yeah, I had water and a razor that's that's what i used to do but i i, I, know. I believe it i believe yeah, it I yeah it uh i don't know man like it's just um it's just such a hassle you can nick your face like it was oh, a, yeah, I did a I would lot of shave that. Every it just sucks man yeah. but, and I, i'll tell you another thing like uh i think it can be very daunting like once you get a beard to like maintain it yourself because you ain't gonna go to the barber like every week right no um no. but you get like a decent beard trimmer like a uh it's a company called Wall W A H L. Like they make professional razors. Oh, you get yeah, like a yeah. hundred dollar razor, and like you will eventually learn how to shape it and keep it like like clean. And then you only go to, uh, you know, the barber like once a month to like, you know, get it proper, proper. Like you know, do the tr like you know, completely. Not to mention you can experiment. Like I did the. I remember one week I did the, you know, make the mustache like more like stand out ish than the rest of the beard. You can do a lot of cool shit. Yeah. Dude, I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you, uh, I'll keep you updated on my, on my beard type beat. I'll, uh, Hell you know, hopefully, yeah. hopefully it goes pretty well, but the beard progress. Yeah. You need dude. the day one day 15. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try it. I'll try it. What's uh, so I wanted to ask too, um, mm -hmm. I'm going to wrap things up here, but, what is your plans for the future, dude? I mean, you know, like with GTA and potentially new update that's going to be coming out this year. I mean, who knows? But, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's pretty much about that time. Uh, you know, you got any plans, any new characters you plan on keeping the same or are you keeping it a secret? I, I think it's a little bit of everything. Like, I will say that I, I've always like lived in the moment. 
So uh, it kind of depends on. So I, I don't know what's going on. My understand. So just based on my understanding is that 2.0 is going to be like a fun, like uh server. And it's just like the, it's something you can do while 3.0 continues on. Right. And then hardcore is going to come out. So depending on what hardcore is, I would love to like resurge with Nino, yeah. but yeah. like, it really depends on what everyone else is doing. But then, cause I still have the option of like, you know, where, what am I going to do? Like, what is my responsibility for PD? Cause I'm really enjoying, uh, building Davis PD. I think it's like, like a complete, and I don't know if anyone sees it outside of those people in the department, but I right. really feel like it's like a completely new um, take on what a PD can look like on the RP server. Yeah, like I, sure. I think, and, and that's just so, so dope. Uh, so it's going to be probably nurturing like Davis PD or, um, or like bringing back Nino. So, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, one I'm of those two. on the same path. Like when hardcore comes out, like, um, I think I'm definitely kind of with Tony. I think, uh, I mean, I'm not going to lie, man. Like I'll, I'll say it how it is. Um, with Tony currently right now, it's kind of a switch. Like I lost mm -hmm. a lot of the character, uh, mainly just because it's like, I just, I don't know, man. I kind of don't really feel it too much anymore. If that makes sense. Like, yeah. A lot yeah. Yeah. Racing stuff like, and like, dude, it's better if I say it because if I say it, then like, I mean, you can't really call me out for it. Cause I know the fucking truth. Right. Like mm. I really just kind of lost the, little bit of the role play dynamic you know what i mean with this character i've done i've done so much right um mm. and now with the, like the whole racing crew like it's a lot of myself in that character as well um mm. and it's gotten very easy to do that you know log on i like cars character likes car you know it's it's kind of easy it's it's like a filler you know what i mean um i i don't think you should blame yourself too much for that because i think we all do it to a degree yeah a hundred percent and it's only naturally so dude i mean i've been playing this character for like five and a half years bro like it, it's it's bound a lot of myself is going to spill into it and as recently a, a lot of myself has i mean you talk about tony corleone mm -hmm. like it's an italian character who was in the mob and now he's like some you know fucking street racer you know mm -hmm. runs a racing crew i i don't even do the voice so much anymore but with that being said, when coming with a new update, I kind of have some plans. Um, I think I have a character right now called Charles. He's a UK character. I can do that. Accent. Oh, pretty, pretty decent. I think, you know, all I'm right, still working all right. on it. That's one thing I'd love to accomplish is to actually do like, I've been, I kind of want to take classes on it to do a really, really good UK accent. Or, you know, English accent. Oh, um, snap. All yeah, right. I'd really like to do that. And then that character would only be a one life character. Um, that, so that sounds it would have really a couple, dope. Like, even right now on the server, he's a one life character, but the server just doesn't fit him. Like, it's too hardcore. If I try to do serious role play and yeah. some guy runs up to me and just says, nah, fuck you, bro, and shoots me, like, okay, all my role plays out the window. And I just don't really want to bring that dynamic, that character to the server just yet. Uh, until I got gotcha. I feel like everybody's on that same page. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not, it's kind of why I don't play Nino. There's uh yeah, Nino's I not think, built for the server right now. There's no shot. It's just, it, it's not like, and that's why I bring him in as like lawyer stuff. Cause like, you know, when it's like serious charges, like you naturally, it is serious. And don't get me wrong. Like I've done crazy shit on Nino too. That's like, like, uh, you know, silly or whatever, but it, but when I do those silly things, it's in a backdrop of some level of seriousness. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't like I'm not saying that, you know, needs to be so, like, I mean, look at all this. We did crazy shit when we were, you know, doing the clean boy stuff the first a year, year and a half. But but even then it wasn't you weren't going to expect in the middle of some shit we're doing someone coming up and just like. I don't know, just blowing up their vehicle on us just because Yeah, it's exactly, dude. You know, so that, and this happens every year and a half. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just where the server gets to. It's, you know, people, and myself included, I just kind of, you know, fade away a little bit into, uh, you know, I've done a lot of things and it's just like, mm -hmm. need that wipe. So with new update or whatever happens, um, 
you know, wipe or whenever that will be. I think my goal would be to make Tony Corleone, but like insane, like, you know, do like a, I don't know if you watched any of my Red Dead stuff before. I could do like an Italian accent, but I really want to yeah. do like an older Italian Tony Corleone and really stick to that character. Oh, like, you know, that'd be dope. But I, I want to do like clean. Like, I don't want to do like crazy shit. Like, maybe have him, you know, uh, really do the mob arc on Tony. Like, I've never done that. I've always wanted to. It's just, mm -hmm. it depends if the server is going to be built for it. You know what I mean? Because I, I can't do the serious role play and then just, you know, have some guy run up to me and shoot me. And there's, you know, I it comes agree. down to who's the better shooter at that point, you know? Like, the role play has to outweigh the who's better at shooting. You know what I mean? Like, unfortunately, that's just kind of how it is. You um, ready for a hot, a spicy take? Yeah, give it to me. Uh, one of, uh, it's not even the worry that someone's going to shoot you. It's that people will notice you're serious and turn it into a meme and pretty much yes, dude. shit on your role that. play yeah. in character. Yeah, I hate so, that, man. I hate that. That's why, I like, it's so hard to be serious nowadays because it's just, it feels like it's um, it's not rewarding. You know what I mean? Like, and that's why, I feel like that's why the state that it's at right now. Um, mm -hmm. And like I said, you know, maybe a hot take, but uh, I, I mean, I kind of think it's truthful that, like, you know, a lot of people, um, myself included, problem for sure. I'm not saying I'm fucking the best, uh, but, you know, a lot of people do these RP arcs, right? And just people don't take it seriously. And because yep. of that, that will make them not want to do it. They don't feel like it's rewarding. Versus if Absolutely. I go into like Red Dead RP, fucking like slow burn as shit, and it's just fucking really, really crazy good story. But it comes with a price, mm. right? Everything has its pros and cons. But um, yeah, I, I just don't think the server right now is kind of like uh, built for maybe not yeah. the server, but maybe the player base. I guess maybe it's a player base and server type thing. I, I think it's like, yeah, I'd say it's the latter. I think like naturally, um, okay, this might be spicy as well, is with every iteration I've always seen, um, and this goes all the way back to Arma, is that there's always that, that, and when we say, like, I think when we say, when commentators talk about seriousness, I think they paint a picture of the memeified version of serious, where everyone's like walking everywhere, or everybody is like, no, no. I think serious means that if someone's like, yo, this thing matters to me, and they're right. communicating that, that you could, as a character, be like, well, that's not my problem, or like, whatever, that sounds like a joke. That's still a serious kind of response. But what isn't is when you say someone's like in character, like worried, scared, whatever, and the other character is just like, like gives you such a a response that pretty much says wow you're role playing something weird i'm out you know there's such yeah, a distinction it's, yeah it's like devaluing almost you know mm -hmm. a little devaluing for sure but yeah dude i i definitely hopefully with the you know next update whenever that is and you know wipe um tony i definitely want to do that like extra italian very like you know serious role that's gonna be shit. really dope to see i think it'll be great and i think i think people are gonna love it dude i think also you know i gotta make a decision as well because i obviously have the red line guys and um i mean even though i built this on an rp server these guys feel like my family you know what i mean like i i, I love mm. everybody that's in that fucking group um if for and you know maybe say it's a little crazy but it feels more like uh like my gaming boys group you know what i mean it's like a little mm -hmm. thing we all created together um started out as like a racing rp thing but it's become more than that and i think i want to role play it somehow to where maybe like i don't know as tony i kind of like step back and maybe like hand it off to like somebody and then i don't know maybe like i, I don't know have tony like hire a new character which would be like my new character i i don't know i, I have to put a lot of thought behind it but i'm just trying to think of how I want to do it because I don't want it to what it is now to where I have this Italian Tony Corleone who's also a street racer all day. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, it just doesn't clash well, I think. Um, so I think I got to either one 
come up with another character and you know hand it off to that guy um or hand it off to one of the boys and kind of like watch from a distance type shit so i i gotta think about it but yeah I, that I can always so be it cannot that can always be a a, a tough transition but For sure you know um look i had to do it like uh you know there was uh going into like 3.0 I, there was, uh, I mean, there was definitely miscommunication, but there was, uh, you know, I, I came in, I'm like, I really want just a clean slate because coming out of 2.0, like my Nino character was, you know, top of the food chain was running this, this and that. And it didn't make sense for me to come back into the city with a wipe and be like, I have these same traits right yeah, exactly bro it needs to be something different like i just don't want to load yeah. into whatever the next update would be and be like oh like you know all right redline let's get together you know or all right boys let's link up you know what i mean like it's got to mm -hmm. be different because if it's not different it's just all going to be the same with a different server you know and yeah i don't i don't want to take the state of role play that i'm currently doing uh because i'm not really happy with it i mean i just really, continue yeah it. just to continue it so no nah. Well, I, I think playing really that bound like many years later or down bad arc or whatever, it just is so much nicer. Like, like uh, I see people talking about Nino scamming and early through Pono. Like, bro, I loved that. Like Nino's just like, you know what? I still am like sly, right. but how do I do that when I'm broke? Well, you know what? I'm going to go to pillbox and be like, Hey, oh, I'm not feeling so good. You guys got an extra sandwich and be like, hell yeah, that's like 200 extra bucks. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> oh, dude, I remember that shit. Go to the hospital, they give you free food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And then Hopefully. you can build up from there. Like, you know, you're kind of doing a new game plus at that stage, which I don't know. Yeah. It gives you more opportunity. You can't overthink it too much, but you definitely have to put some thought in it because reality is nobody knows what the next update's going to be. Nobody knows what it's going to look like. The only people mm -hmm. who know is, you know, obviously Coil and the developers that are working on it. And True. I mean, they don't, you know, obviously rightfully so. I think it's better this way. I think it's better when they don't say too much about it. I mean, with 3.0, I, I don't think we really, we didn't know too much. I mean, the trailer was crazy in itself, but uh, it was still, it was still insane. Everything that we found out, it was always like very fun and, you know, kind of, kind of nice. To yeah. Not know what it was going to be like. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm, I'm excited, man. I think come up with a base foundation and I just kind of go from there type shit. Mm hmm. But yeah, man. Well, dude, brother, I appreciate you, man. Um, yeah. Likewise. Kind of wrap up things with like, uh, you know, ask the community if they have any questions, if you got some more time. Um, one of my mods has a question. He's like, I got a question for Medi. Would Medi like to mm -hmm. give Red Dead RP another shot? Uh, I don't think so. I'm uh, I'm very like one track minded when it comes to playing a character. I enjoy like really diving into him and almost um, like what is it called? Like I'm, I I I wouldn't say I method act, right? But almost method act where I know what my character is thinking, how they feel how their past interactions affected them, what my disposition is, which with each and every character and why, right? So I, I, I really try to play with that depth of a, a different brain. Like I maintain a different brain. The moment I am playing more than one character, yes, I can play the character and do its tropes. Like if I played Ryan Kindle, you know, I could do, go do that oh for an God, episode. Oh my God, I forgot that right? character, dude. <laughs> Oh and and I can I can do that, but I won't be able to have the time to develop that mental state of mind, right? And be able to create something meaningful. And if it's not meaningful, I'm not personally enjoying it. So uh, where I'm going with that is, um, oh my god, what the fuck was the actual question? I went so deep and then uh, I forgot to pull back out and answer it. <laughs> um, okay. What the fuck was it again? Uh, uh, questions we were talking for, about oh red, red dead red dead red yes. dead red dead so i can't play a red dead character i was already anxious about it originally right. because the moment i do that red dead character i'm now i it's the same as you know i i can't do it like i can but it's just so much more mental effort uh in order to hit the 
quality I expect of myself. Um, not to mention what happened was, if you want the truth, is that I started doing it. I really enjoyed it. But at the start of my streams, people were like, hey, are you doing Red Dead today? Oh, are you doing Red? And I'm like, I hear that again. Like, we're playing this right now. Right. And they didn't learn, so I took it off the table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Dude. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. I, I like Red Dead, man. It's just very, very high energy. You have to, like, dude, I have to put in a lot, a lot, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work for it, dude, um, to really, like, kind of get into it, man. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I know my community loves it, but it's just very, very hard, dude. It's, it, it, it can I mean, be it's taxing. Like eight hours, and it's very slow burn, and it's hard, hard to do and shit. Um, yeah, I have to keep up with it too, man. That's exactly. like another storylines you got to keep up on. Oh, because you don't want to end up being that character that like logs in and like you don't forget, you forget all the conversations, you forget you hate somebody, and uh, you know what I mean. It's it's a uh, high quality role play is harder than people may think. Yeah, that's why my next character is gonna be a self insert, and then it's easy. Well, see, that's why I'm <laughs> making a self insert. And then I'm gonna make my Tony Italian character so that way I can have a self insert and not feel bad about it. And then do <laughs> my so my plan is to do my insane Tony RP arc, that extra Italian. Yeah. And then do uh, my self insert character. Um, Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but uh, so I wanted to say, you know, I know you're coming out here. You know, I don't know if you want me to leak. Uh, I've already. Know. I. I okay. I'm gonna be out there the week of the 14th. So man. I was thinking, maybe if you're down, we do the podcast in person. Ooh, that could be dope. So I, you know, I know a couple, a couple little spots, you know, a couple little spats, a couple little studios that oh, uh, we could do up. And um, all right, all right. I think with season two, I definitely want to bring the people that are on and really get them. Uh, you know, we'll do we'll do a little a little touch up one first. You know, a little one like we're doing now, and then really go into a uh, in person, you know, podcast type thing where we we talk oh, a little bit more about dope. shit. You know, so uh, hell yeah, yeah. So I mean, if you're down for that, dude, I mean, I'd, I'd love to have you back. Always, on, man, absolutely. Sure. Well, brother, dude, thank you so much for uh, for coming out today and taking your time out of the day to uh, to be on here, man. I really appreciate. it. Of course, it. man. Happy Listen, we go back. Dude. A long way. Thank you for Crazy, having me. Bro. Chat, I hope you guys enjoyed the hell out of this. All right. Good ass time, man. Thank you so much. Chat, make sure to go show him some love mods. If you could post his link in the stream, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, you uh, you streaming after this? Or you you had an out for the 100%. day? 100%. Yeah? All right, I'm, go do well, it. Well, I'm, I'm going to be out for a couple days, so I got to get my, my hours in. You Feel know, that. I got to go reel, reel some cadets in. Yeah, I feel you, brother. Well, hey, man. Have a good rest of your stream. Thank you so much Thank again you. for coming on, bro. And uh, I'll catch you out there, brother. Hell yeah. All right. You take peace, care, buddy. my man. Good night, dude. Bye. Damn. Chat, make sure to go show Medi some love. Uh, mods have posted it up in the chat. Go give him some hearts, man. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Medi for coming on the stream today. It's been a banner podcast back. Season two, we're here. Um, Obviously, like I said, I wanted to do the audio for a reason because I really want to, uh, you know, kind of do the in-person type shit. I got some cool things that we're going to be announcing soon. Uh, things I can't really speak on just yet. Um, but, you know, got, uh, got some, you know, people. I can't, I, can't, I can't talk too much. I can't talk too much if I speak, if I speak. Um, but, yeah, I have some, some cool things that we're definitely going to be doing. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching that podcast today. Chat, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, we are going to be hopping back on GTA just for a little bit longer. And uh, I got to get going soon because I got a birthday party I got to go to and I got to get a, a birthday present for somebody. But um, yeah, dude, what a fire podcast. So that's going to be the wrap of that. That was fire, man. That was good, dude.